Hello. Hello. Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies. Today's question, a little controversial. Con- controvers- contro- controversial. Controversial. Oh, controversial. Con- controversial. Controversial. Conk. Yeah, conch. Today's question is, should women be allowed to speak in public? Andy, I'll let you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what my gut reaction says. I, don't, I mean, I don't know how other people feel about it, but yeah, my gut reaction is yes, they should be able to. Yeah, without question. Um, yeah, I, I, I personally believe that women should be allowed to speak in public. Okay, yeah. Um, so and that's and that's just that's you personally. That's how you believe. Yeah. Okay. Can't argue with that because that's yeah. based on your own experience. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lily. I don't know if you guys. <laughs> Butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! beautiful ah! creations. Has an empty mind. You learn martial arts. Ah! Ninjas are dead. Ninjas are butterflies. What? I'm not allowed to answer. <laughs> that's oh, we're just that's gonna, a joke. We're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna cut you right off and then that's just go right. Into- <laughs> oh, I get it. That's perfect. Yeah. Um. No offense. We don't. We we believe all women should be able to speak. Right, unless they can't speak. That's well, they true. should. They should be allowed. Yeah, they should be. <laughs> if they can't speak, you're, you're not allowed to speak, even though you can't. If you can't speak, you're not allowed to. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies, episode five. Five. Wow. Number five, baby. Number five. Coming in hot. Yep. Cinco. Cinco. Is oh, that yeah. Say, yeah. Say go to mouth. Yeah. Say go to mouth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird. Yeah, it's fifth. Yeah, 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 fifth. Oh my God. I don't know if no. you've ever, I've, are you a finger counter? No. I have been my entire life. Really? No. I, I, like, when I'm doing Debbie math, too. I'm just like. I think it's a sign of a slow learner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm a visual learner. Yeah, they, that yeah, I would say visual learner, <laughs> Lily. Oh, <laughs> that, that Lily's. I think it's a sign oh of a slow learner. Goodness gracious! Just in case you were wondering if that was impounded into you and uh, all the years of learning that you've been through. Off to a great start. <laughs> I'm Josh, aka the slow learner. <laughs> That's my wife, Lily. I'm Andy. I'm the average learner. <laughs> and Lily, apparently, she's a superior learner. So, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. rapid learner. <laughs> rapid learner. <laughs> yeah. I learn rapidly. Man, oh, man. So, yeah, this is where we're back. You're back from vacation. You guys had a good vacation, right? Yeah. It was Very amazing. Good. Perfect. Really amazing. You guys are super tan. I mean, yeah. I don't notice a difference, I bet. I was going to be shirtless to show off my tan, but I don't want to, you know. Yeah. It, it would. I wouldn't be able to talk. I would be distracted. Right. I think everyone would be. Yeah. But yeah. Andrew? No? No. Okay. Not well. At all. Oh. But yeah. Okay. So I'm glad you guys got on vacation. It was a two week vacation. We missed you a lot. But you're back. Yeah. You're back and we have a lot of fun things to talk about today. Yeah. Why don't you uh why don't you start us off, Andy? Um well first off I wanna talk about our lack of pizza today. I was promised pizza for lunch. See, I tried to talk Josh into buying pizza for lunch for the podcast so we can ha- so I could have a uh, free lunch, but we didn't because we wanted to discuss. Um, we've had a topic for a while that we need. A well, lot let me of just say, no one promised on. you pizza. Okay, you're well, like, we should do pizza. I'm like, yeah, maybe. And then yeah, I said, okay, cool. We're as, a, pizza. as I'm eating, I just lunch. took that as a yes. I took that as a yes. You I, promised I, yourself pizza, and you <laughs> didn't get yourself pizza, <laughs> and I'm disappointed. I've let myself down once again. <laughs> oh man. So, okay, yeah. so the debate is one day me and you and a few of the friends were eating pizza, right? And we're talking about, you said, I don't like the crust of this pizza, like the specific restaurant. Do you remember what it was, Domino? I and mean, you guys like Domino's. Was I here? I love Domino's. Yeah, we're Domino's. Yeah, we're the Warrens. Yeah. We are, it was something. And I said, well, you're eating the crust, so you must like it. And you're like, I'm not eating the crust. It's right here in my hand. I'm not eating it. And I said, you ate the crust because you ate the slice of pizza. The crust is still... In what you ate. And he says, Oh, that's not <laughs> crust. And I said, Yes, it is. It's just a different part of the crust. So that's the argument. Is no. is what's uh you know, the holding holding the whole pizza underneath, right there, holding the sauce and the cheese and the toppings, is that part of the crust on the pizza? Uh I think technically, maybe. 
Yes. But when you're describing, I don't like the crust, mm-hmm. I'm talking about the crust yeah. of the pizza. And that's what I asked you. You said, I don't like the crust. And I said, which part? Time which, out. Which, what, what crust? Like that crust or this crust? With you that argument, discern. with that argument, what is an uncrustable? What? Because with that logic, okay, a that's slice, a, no. a slice that's of just don't. Bad, that's just bad naming on their part. That's just bad naming. Well, by, by your definition, a slice of bread is a crust. Is it not? In addition, though, We're about an pizza. uncrustable has a crust. They just, they just like play on it. That the they outside. <laughs> they don't have a crust. The outside. That's the whole point of it. The pinching when she's, they pinch around. Right. Yeah, that's a crust. That's the type of crust. In fact, it's a pretty bomb crust. In your opinion, like in what yours, your logic is anything that's at the end of that's just crimped bread. bread. Is crust. <laughs> <laughs> it's no Crimp. crust. Think about when you say, "Hey, mom, can you cut the crust off my sandwich?" Yeah. That that crust is like the by that logic, no, you can never cut enough to get rid of a crust. If you cooked a whole pizza without <laughs> any toppings, any sauce, or any cheese whatsoever, that would be bread. That would be a whole crust. That all that would be the crust. No, that would just be bread. Because before it's dough, and then when it's cooked, it becomes a crust. I think we yes. need to come up with a new. They need to be distinguished because. Yeah. And I don't, I, I... Bottom crust, outside crust. I'm fine with that. Because when you said, I don't like the crust, and I said, well, what part crust? Do you not like the crust? Like, because I... Oh, that was the art. You said, yeah. what part of the crust? You know, and like, I said, the crust. The, the crust. <laughs> I said, yeah. So, but, but there's... Sir, I've tried certain pizzas that I don't like the, uh, the bottom crust. But I'll... Underbelly. I don't, I don't, yeah, the underbelly. The undercarriage mm. of, the, of the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't mind the outside crust. And so that's, that's the thing, is... is is there two types of crust, or is there, is there a name I for do it? I do not prefer know. the undercarriage of pizzas. <laughs> so. I'll pass on the undercarriage today. <laughs> what, uh, establishes the, what establishes the essence of something? You in the word essence. That I don't, I, I, I've never understood like how you can describe the essence of something was when you're eating something. Like, I don't understand that. That feels like something spiritual. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or Zoolander. <laughs> What's the essence of the pizza? I like, I don't know. Most people make fun of things they don't understand. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the essence of, I don't even know the definition of essence. It feels very like vague to me. I don't know. It is. Yeah. It so is. I don't know. I, I, I believe that there are two parts of the crust, but it all is one. It's the, it's. Now you sound spiritual. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, very, it's like the Holy Spirit. It's like, they're two separate things, but they're also the same. So, um. I'm just, I'm still hung up on the fact that Lily said the part of the uncrustable, the edge, is a crust. That's not a crust. That's a crust. No, that's bread and it's pinched. Let's talk about, let's relate this even deeper. There's another crust, the crust of the earth. Mm. Yeah. Which is like an eggshell. And beyond that, there's a crust really inside all of us, if you think about it, right? Like just in here mm-hmm. that we all need to break into and break kind of. Break through the crust. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that today. Let's get deep. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> let's get let's get deep. Deep dish. You're our sponsor from. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's um, perfect. I have no opinion on this subject, by the way. What is I, your hot take on food? What, what's a hot take that you have on food, Lil? What's a hot take? Yeah, like a hot. What's a hot take? Like what's something? What's what's an unpopular opinion that you have? We on don't food? know a lot of words today. <laughs> Define hot take. <laughs> what's the essence of your hot take? I don't know. I uh, I don't have a lot of opinions. I'm not a picky eater whatsoever. I'll eat basically anything. You, yeah. you are a popsicle person, though. I love popsicles. Yeah, shout tell, out to tell, Hippo Pops. <laughs> tell, tell the audience why you love popsicles so much. Yeah, so I grew up vacationing like most Floridians do at one point of, uh, at, at one beach of Florida. And we were an East Coast family, and we went mm. to St. Augustine, which is the best. It's the oldest city in the nation, and it's also the best city not in the true. nation. Not true. I knew he was going <laughs> to pipe up. I knew. Anyone, why is it not the oldest yeah, city in the nation? Let's have this. Cola, Debate. Florida. It yeah. was unearthed, mm. earliest established city. Look it up. No, I looked it was, University it of was, West Florida. I looked it up. We're talking colonialized, aren't we? Colonized. <laughs> Look it up. University of West Florida. <laughs> what are we no, looking up, dude? University of West Florida, um, oldest city. We're if looking. you if you Google the oldest city in America, just do that. <laughs> So Google is. Oh geez, I spelled America terribly. Awakma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Saint Augustine. Boom. Boom, baby. Saint Augustine. You did not add University of West Florida. <laughs> What's the University? I of West looked Florida? up that article Andrew's talking about, and it was like one scientist dude is like, mm, actually, That's- the essence of an old city. 
That's not even the truth. It's not one scientist. Do you expect like 20 people to write one article that you read? 20 people sure. running around St. Augustine. It was one person who There's, wrote the article that ton of people did it was, research It was his on. study. We, we will expect a full report next uh, <laughs> next episode. Of, I would look it up and prove you facts. all wrong, but I'm using my phone to record. Mm. So I'm at a disadvantage right well, now. Well, that seems like the essence of an excuse. Can I have a Red Bull? <laughs> yes, you can have a Red Bull. Can anywho, I actually have one too? Anywho, popsicles. Um, I'll take whatever. This is well, usually how whatever. it goes is when I start talking Everyone about say thank popsicles. you. Everyone say thank you. Just can I get another one? Yep. Gracias. This is so typical. <laughs> Do you want anything we'll come back. No. Okay. I can't. It has a pregnancy risk. She wants to be heard. Yeah, I want to be heard about okay. the popsicles. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us why you love popsicles so much. <laughs> so your family was an East Coast family. They would sing all, all the time. Second Saint oldest city. all the time. The oldest city in the nation. And so, you know, we ended up going to the hippo popsicles all the time and alternatively to ice cream. That's downtown, right? Yeah, downtown. Yeah. They have two locations. So they have two locations downtown, and then they have another one that they make the popsicles at on US 1. But <laughs> I, <laughs> I, um, I ended up going to college in St. Augustine, which was super fun. I went to Flagler College for a little bit. Didn't graduate. Go Bears. No. <laughs> and what is their mascot? Uh, a, they're the, the flags. Snakes. They're the Saints. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> just got so scared by this. <laughs> Why are we so shocked? <gasps> Sounds like the College of Slytherin. <laughs> kind of. Oh. But they're Gryffindor colors. Mm. Um. Anywho, before Sheep's I went clothing. in my, you know me, I'm so tenacious. Before I went up there, when I accepted Flagler as my school, I went up like a month in advance and applied to work at the Hippo because I knew that was like my number one objective. And that's what I did. I worked there and all my friends would come visit me and get popsicles and stuff. And I would eat on average like four popsicles in a shift because you got like an insane discount. Um, and I've loved them ever, ever since. And when I gave birth to Ada, I ordered myself some and shipped them to my house. Mm. They're my love language, popsicles. Popsicles. I, I can't like literally even thinking about the word popsicle makes me like, shiver because i can't i can't eat them because my teeth are too sensitive me, me and I lily can't. love a mm. lot of things together mm -hmm. i don't understand the love of popsicles popsicles you i can't no one can say don't. popsicles today <laughs> 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 words are hard today you say you say it's my leslie nope waffle yeah so you <laughs> if you guys have ever watched parks and rec not waffle little sebastian oh little sebastian yeah. of how like everyone was just like little sebastian and then ben was like the only normal person yeah he's just like i don't get it <laughs> but he like acted like he loved it for yep. their sake. That's that's the scenario. I've tried it. I I'm so sorry, but like it was just one of those things. I didn't like hate it. It's just frozen juice. Yeah, it just felt it felt. No, very, it's not. What flavor I feel like it's did a you nostalgic get? thing. I got like a strawberry cheesecake something. I don't oh, know. I'm a, a cheesecake guy. It's a good one though. Yeah, it was weird. I, I prefer ice cream. But you don't like them at all. I'll eat them. Yeah, it, but I won't drive two hours to get a popsicle. Yeah, you would probably be happy just to drive there. Hang out there like for yeah. 30 minutes and then leave. Go back home? No. No. <laughs> it's two hours. But if he said, like he said, let's just go to St. Augustine right now. Just get a, get a popsicle and let's come back. I have dreams like that all the time. <laughs> I literally do. I do. I have dreams. I, I pray go Josh comes home and just gives me what I want. <laughs> when we were on vacation, we went, we stopped at this coffee shop and it said gourmet pot. pot. <laughs> 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 What's happening? He's uh, having a stroke. Uh, <laughs> Popsicles. <laughs> it's a gourmet popsicles. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if they're um, hippo. And she walks in and she like, you could hear her yelling, they're hippo! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and the lady is just like, I don't, yeah, I don't I mean, know. I guess. <laughs> she had no Suppose. idea what she had. It was pretty frustrating. <laughs> it was. Do you know what she, you have here? She. The sign said gourmet popsicles. It said unbranded, entirely unbranded. And I went in and they have like three coolers full, like really a really significant showcase. And I'm like, how, like this is insane. Like I didn't see you guys. I was looking it up in the area, like where I could find you guys, you know, whatever. This is so awesome. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, oh, are there more of these in Florida or whatever? I was like. Yes. Ma'am, you have no idea. <laughs> I was like, Hey, yes, uh, Lil, we have to go. We're, um, you know, the babysitter's gonna, you know, need relieving soon. And you're like, hold on. She doesn't realize what she, what she has in front of her. <laughs> Grab his by the shirt. Do you know what you have here? <laughs> Listen, lady. Oh my gosh. But they do. So, and it really too, I mean, I love the pop schools as themselves, but the, the owner, Stephen DeMare, he's just such an entrepreneur. Shout out to Stephen. <laughs> it was Steve. 
And he's a, he's like a qualitarian, like beyond measure, you know. And he's so a he, qualitarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a he's he's, best, he's a he, he he's studied into koalas. A koala. <laughs> <laughs> he can shape shift into koalas. What? You're kidding me. Oh Does he gosh. love eucalyptus? <laughs> I heard it makes him sleepy. Don't they have like <laughs> in their hands too? You can't talk about that on this podcast, right? Koalas? Yeah, they do. They, they like spread like crazy. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Okay, so <clears throat> the movie Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. You know, on a similar that, let's, note. Let's go, to, let's go to Elvis. Um, um, pretty good movie. I, I watched yeah. it this summer, and I was so glad I saw it in theaters because it's just such. It's one of those movies you. I love those musical like at like Ray and Walk the Line. Yeah, it's very very good. And very you guys good. watched it recently, right? We did. We, I really wanted to watch it in theaters because now it's streaming. Yeah, you have to pay it's for on. It. It's on HBO now. Yep. <clears throat> Lily did not want to watch it. That's not true. That is true. Wait, when? What time? <laughs> the whole time. I I wasn't seeking it out. There's some. There's a difference between us going and seeing movies now than when we were first dating. Because going no, even when now. it was on HBO, you didn't want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> just arguing, yeah. arguing. <laughs> Anyways, because she walked out. Pod. She walked out of the room. I just I turned it on. Yeah. Because like, I'm like I'm just gonna watch it. Yeah. And then Lou was like, I already know everything I need to know about Elvis. <laughs> I'm like, what? She's very confident what, in her Elvis what, knowledge. What do you know about Elvis? Yeah. She said, well, I know like when he was a kid, he broke both his legs. That's why he like danced <laughs> like that. <laughs> I said, Lily, you're thinking of Forrest Gump. Oh, man. Was that true? Yes, that happened. You said that with confidence? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But uh, tell me that you don't think the same thing. You didn't go in with that initial bias. No. No. <laughs> Even as a kid, I knew that Forrest Gump was like, oh, that's a fun little bit. They're like, oh. It's like, because like, Elvis learned from Forrest. Because he would dance. I need to watch Forrest Gump again, obviously. Apparently. Because Forrest Gump, <laughs> yeah, he needed the braces. And then he's walking in the house. And Elvis stayed at the house, like, overnight or something, oh. like, for a week. And he was like, oh, I like your little leg thing you're doing right there. And then he's like, teach me how to do that. And then yeah. that's, and it's like, oh, that's where he got it from. That's pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's pretty fun. He didn't have broken legs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, you don't know anything about Elvis. And and then, then, in uh, fact, and then, I'm a little disappointed how much you dislike Elvis. She's like, I love Elvis. In fact, when people ask me, would I rather see Michael Jackson in concert or Elvis, I always say Elvis. <laughs> and I said, who has ever asked you that? <laughs> <laughs> I That's not a comment. Asked that. I have on multiple occasions. On multiple occasions <laughs> by no. different people? <laughs> There's yeah. no way. Yeah. You know how I like to ask people like fun questions? They ask me back sometimes. They ask you that question? <laughs> That's just it's everyone's corner go-to in the room. What's your favorite Tell color? Tell me. Red. <laughs> Would you rather see Michael Jackson or Elvis in concert? That yeah. That is hilarious. So. I love it. Dude, that's what, the, yeah, the movie was good because was you, great. Saw, you saw like how Elvis like started out and then you saw like how he met, you know, he became a ping pong champion mm-hmm. and <laughs> uh, he, he fell in love with his wife, Jenny, Jenny. which was really great. Yep. Really, really ran cool. Ran across country. Yeah. Yep. Ran across. Yeah. Amazing. Played for yep. Alabama. Yep. At one point. You ain't nothing but a Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was, Oh Same yeah, yeah. Song. Would you rather see Michael Jackson or Elvis in concert, though? Elvis. Same. Me too. Hey. All right. What's your favorite song? By him? Yeah. Oh, uh, the, did uh, he write "Fools Rush In"? No, he didn't write it. I know he didn't write it, but is he the original artist of that? Because if so, then that would be it. Oh, what's the one he sang at the end of the movie? Oh, Unchained Melody. Unchained Melody. Yeah. 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 That one's That's a good one. That's probably one of my yeah. favorites. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. But yeah. uh, you've seen that street artist perform it, right? Have you ever seen that uh, Street Armist in New York City? Dude, he's literally just in the subway singing it, and he's phenomenal, and he got on, like, James Corden and stuff. It's really, really good. If you look it up, we can play, play the clip. Hey, roll it! That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, right? Wow. <laughs> oh, give crazy. it up. That's all we can do before we get taken down on YouTube. Oh, man. Who's older, Frank Sinatra or Elvis? Frank Sinatra's Frank. dead. Uh, They're both dead. I would say Elvis is dead. Um, Frank Sinatra Elvis, is older. Elvis is, uh, Frank Sinatra older. is older. Yeah, he wrote uh, yeah. Fool's Rushin. Okay. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. He wrote it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, but he sang it first? I think so. Let's oh. hear your best Frank Sinatra impression. It's I always start with the snap. <laughs> I don't know. If it, I feel like they walked He's around like a lot. Let's see. What, is, what songs do he sing? <laughs> New York, New York, New York. Uh, like, uh, Let me... I did it my <laughs> way. That was, that was good. good. Yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's... Now a lot it. of people say it sound like Frank Sinatra. Now do saying. that with the Elvis. 
That's that's hey, that's, that's good. Thank you. Well I, done. Yeah, that a lot of people. A lot of when a lot of people corner me and they're like, I want to see you do an Elvis and Frank Sinatra <laughs> impression, kind of like the people that come up yeah. and ask you. I'm like, that's what I do. And I would just, you rather do an Elvis or Frank Sinatra impression? I get that question all, all the time. <laughs> I love old Frank. Hey, what are some of your um, questions that you ask people? You say you always act, like to ask fun questions. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I love to ask, like, what's your favorite movie? Your favorite color? Your it, favorite sound, it, sounds like, like, it sounds like the question you would ask, like, on the first day of elementary school. It's like, what's your yeah. favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> just going back to the basics. <laughs> it's fun. It was you so much easier to, like, get in, have things in common with kids. Mm -hmm. Like, to find a partner in, like, elementary school was so easy. Yep. And then you try to find a partner, like, when you start out in, like, life. It's just, yeah. like, this is so much more difficult. So who's your favorite artist? <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you really into right now? Oh, it's someone called Bon Iver. I bon remember that hearing that in college. Bon but it's Iver. like, it's Bon Iver, okay? I still say Bon Iver. Bon Iver. Do it. Do um, it. Speaking of favorite things, how about our favorite t-shirt company? <gasps> <gasps> hey, Josh. Yeah, Andy. I have a question. What is it? Do you ever sometimes like want custom apparel made for you and your group? Yeah, sometimes. You should go to SundayCool.com because they're really cool stuff and it's all customizable. It's all customizable? It's all customizable. You're kidding me. No, it's all customizable and you could get stickers or hoodies or anything you want. <laughs> Like that sticker right there. Wow. Yeah. All you got to do is sundaycool.com. And it, we made that shirt right there. It's really, really, really pretty. We That's like our um, version of like a custom uh, comfort color, right? Comfort color? Comfort. Yeah. And, and Lily sells shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's multitasking. You're selling shirts while we <laughs> Lily, you know, Lily, where, literally right now. Where do they go to start their custom apparel order? You'll go to sundaycool.com forward slash order is that still what yep. it is yep. Yep. i don't yep. know yep. yeah you're the one that sells a shirt so i don't yep. know yeah that's what it is well just or call me yep. what's the number 1-800-865-0726 can you throw that number over to me i'm not doing this again that was a girl oh, throw it in my mouth. i'm not doing this again two wow, wow. sundaycool.com that doesn't have any dairy in it does it also right now <laughs> Also, right now, get um, beanies for nine ninety nine <gasps> with the leather. This, this comes out in like four weeks, so is that still yeah, the end of it's September? It's gonna be active, yeah, through October. We think. Okay, okay cool. Perfect. But it might I don't not know. Be. We'll see. <laughs> you have to go to sundaycool.com to, to find out. out. <laughs> Do you know what I love about Lily, but it also makes me uncomfortable? Mm, uh -oh. Can I name things? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Multiple joys. Um, how extroverted she is. Because oh, yeah. I'm naturally introverted. And so, like, when we're at stores or, like, whatever, she's always just trying to talk to people. And yeah. I'm just, like, I like to put my head down and just get out of places yeah. as fast as possible. So it's both awesome and terrifying because mm -hmm. it's challenged me to talk to people. I love that. Um, like, a couple months ago, a tree, there's a storm that came through. The power lines got ripped down and stuff. <laughs> and I called the fire department and all that stuff because there's a, a live – power line in our yard and it was like arcing and like you were such a dad about that by the way <laughs> you're like all the home depot commercials where you're standing up you got your leg up on the ottoman <laughs> and you're you're observing everything so closely yeah but you're i got it done right like i didn't get it done i called the people <laughs> what are you doing out there um anyways the power line guys were not very nice to me because oh, yeah. i'm just like come on power line guys i think they got mad because i called the fire department at first because mm. when i originally called duke sorry duke um, if you're watching this, Duke, you're, the they are sponsor. watching, um, they're like, yeah, we'll send out somebody when we can. I'm like, okay. Yeah. But there's like literally a live wire and I don't want like a neighbor to like walk across it. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm just going to call the fire department. They, the fire department came in like five minutes. Yeah. Super fast. But the dispatch lady said, we'll call Duke as well. And as soon as the fire department pulled up, the Duke pulled up. So I'm assuming Did they fight. They did. No, they kissed. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. What's your name? <laughs> my mom had to leave the house because she was babysitting our daughter at the time. And um, I didn't want her to, like, drive across the yard with all the wires and stuff. And so I, like, went through the backyard, hopped the fence, and was talking to the Duke guy. I'm like, hey, can, can we drive out of the driveway? Is mm -hmm. it safe? And he's like, I mean, if you have to. <laughs> I'm like, 
what does that what does that mean? Like, will we die if we drive? Like, will the? I mean, like, yeah, I guess if you want to die, you could do it. And he's like, "No, dude, the power's dead." I'm like, "I don't know that." <laughs> That's why I'm over here yeah. asking yeah. you. Um. So yeah, then I came back. My mom left, and then when we were watching out of the front yard of them in our yard, like hanging up the wires. And it was like, "Thank you so much. Do you guys need something to drink?" <laughs> and they're like, "No, like, we're fine." Uh, so yeah, that's the part that makes me uncomfortable is, yeah. I can't like, I can't stand when people give you attitude for no reason, especially when they're a professional and you're like, you have no idea what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I got pulled over one time and all I did was I took a right and that immediately turned into another like right turn only. So I went to the left lane just automatically just to go home. It was two blocks away from home. It was like midnight and the cop saw me and I didn't use a blinker just to go across and it was one block wide. So didn't think it was a big deal. I pulled over and he comes up to the window Asked me for my license, registration, and stuff like that. And then it's midnight. It's completely dark, right? All the stuff happening. This is naturally, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my stuff is in the glove box. And I say, "Is it okay if I grab it from the glove box?" And he says, "Yeah, that's usually where it's at." And I'm like, <gasps> "Okay, that's also where people put guns." Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it's like I didn't want to get shot or that's, something. Yeah, I was like, "I'm sorry." Yeah, yeah you're it's like so. To. Maybe he was just having a bad day, but I was like, "Come on, bad don't make night. me feel bad." Okay, a bad night, and it was dark too. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, great but yeah, yeah lily you is, did, you is did that right yeah thank you yeah lily you are an extremely in, um, extroverted person and mm. uh it is do you talk to people like when you're in line at the grocery store sometimes yeah sometimes <laughs> sometimes <laughs> do you what me yeah oh yeah i love it same i love it i love oh you see that trend on tiktok where you they try to buy the um the thing that separates your food on oh, the yeah. divider. <laughs> yeah. I tried to do that the other day and it did not go as smooth, but I thought that was really funny. Yeah. Like they're trying to, what is that thing called? The divider. Is it just to call yeah. the divider? Yeah. Here we go. Grocery divider. Day what? one of a trying partition. to buy the Publix divider. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. And he got away with it. He put it in a in pool, pool noodle. noodle. Yeah. <laughs> It was great. The it girl did not even That's a good it. idea. Yeah. It's I like the one where is he put cheating, it in though? the magazine. Did you see the one where he put it in the magazine? And the cashier like grabbed it and she like opened it and she was just so confused. <laughs> like, why is this in this? And like they went back and forth for a while, but then she put it back. And it then funny. he's, but he's just probably holding a phone just like this, <laughs> recording over. She's like, I don't know what I you want me to wonder, do. Yeah. Oh man. That's so funny. It makes you wonder if you were the clerk, would you let him? I would. Yeah. I mean, I don't get well, paid enough where it's like. Neither of you are getting cares. hired. At you're already. Kind of store you know what you're going to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get paid enough, so you don't work I, there. I, I, I know. That's why I don't get paid enough. <laughs> oh, man. I don't get paid enough at that place I don't work at. <laughs> Golly. If I can get a raise from every other place I don't work at, I'd be a, I'd be very happy. I'd be a very rich man. <laughs> But I could see myself, you know, too. And but when I when I hear myself talking to these people, like the grocery um, baggers and the the person, the cashier checking me out, or the other people in line, when I hear myself asking the questions, or like, and I'm like, I sound like my mom, <laughs> or I'm getting old, you know. <laughs> you just call it's, your mom old. No, 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 no. I'm not calling Did my mom. Did you hear that, Kiki? That's just in. Kiki is old. She's not old. She's beautiful. But I am. Um, so old, old people old. can't be beautiful? Oh, so <laughs> she's not old. She's beautiful still. Hot Whoa. take. Hot take. Lily thinks old people are ugly. Jeez. You guys. Jeez, man. This is this is getting a this is a heavy episode. I feel trapped. <laughs> Help. <laughs> but I could just tell. I mean, like, I'm going to be one of those elderly people. That's ugly like old people. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, like, overly engaging. Yeah. That we were at a uh, Applebee's not too long ago, and I spilled my drink. I first of all, Zola spilled her drink, and I'm like, your daughter, and I'm in dad mode. Yeah, my daughter, uh, four year old. I'm always paranoid because she always has the drink like right next to the like the edge of the table, and I'm always like, just I don't want to be that controlling dad where I just grab it. I'm like, just be aware of where it's at, and she. Spills I do that it. with Lily. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Always like right there. You're like, I'm yeah. always like you're trying to <laughs> focus on the conversation. <laughs> but she knocks it over as like like you know, I knew what would happen and I kinda like breathe. It's like it's an accident. Kid it's happened, so let's clean it up. Let's not do it again though, okay? And then no joke, <laughs> thirty seconds later I spill my drink. And, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh instead of just being like that dad that just ruins the night, right? I was just like, Okay, don't be that guy. And so I, I laughed it off and I said, You know what? I guess I make mistakes too. And so Demi, my seven-year-old, thought it was the funniest thing in the world that I spilled my drink after I just told Zola to not spill her drink. And so she's 
stands up and she's like, I'm going to tell everyone in the restaurant you spilled your drink. And I said, no, you won't. <laughs> and so she stands up and she's up there. She's standing for like three minutes and just panicking, just <sighs> talking herself into it. I can do this. I can do this. And she goes, hey, everybody, <laughs> my daddy spilled his drink. <laughs> and then she sits down with the most proud look on her face. And I was like, that okay, the very good, thing. very good. So I love that. Yeah. So she's oh, probably going to be just like, yeah, yeah, it's very funny. That's so awesome. Yeah. So, what are some other hot takes? Um, what what do we what do we debate on a lot? Um, you guys argue a lot about like movie taste and stuff like that, and like shows and like celebrities, I right? Suppose. Yeah. Do you guys talk? Do we do? Sometimes. We agree on a lot. Yeah. That almost makes communication. <laughs> 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 do we? <laughs> One word. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you said yeah with a question mark. Yeah. I do, I what do just you want to say? So I guess we don't agree a lot. You guys we had do. a different opinion on the question I asked earlier today. I was filming a video, and I was asking people, is a hot dog a sandwich? Age-old and question. And you guys, you guys weren't in the same room, but you had different opinions. So I think it'd be You cool. say no? I, I said no. I, I think it's its own thing, but technically it is a sandwich. Yeah, yeah technically. I don't like it, but. There are people here saying That's it was weird. a taco. Imagine ma- it's not just a taco. Just, They're saying because it's split and folded. They were calling hot dogs tacos. But a ta- uh, tortilla is not split. It's just a whole thing. Also, a tortilla and yeah. uh, an actual sandwich bread is very vastly different. Yeah, you said because like a tortilla, yeah. like corn based, you well, can't have like flour tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you talk about like hot dogs. Like they have to like they have to rise. Like there's a lot. There's yeast involved. Like flour, you don't have to have any. I mean, flour tortillas or anything like that. You don't have to have any. <laughs> what he's laughing. Like, <laughs> I was gonna, like, what? Just, it's like, the, the, don't call me pretentious. Do not call me because that makes no sense in the scenario. You are being a little pretentious. I'm not being pretentious. That's, I found out uh, Andy's trigger word today, and it's pretentious. I've never been called that in my life, and so I didn't even know what it meant at first. I just know, like, I like. When, what is that it's always, word? It's always a, <laughs> words confuse me. I'm mad about it. I don't like that word, and I'm offended. It's but I don't scary. even know what it means. <laughs> No, uh, it's so yeah, it's 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 vastly different. I don't know. It's, I don't know what my trigger word is. I know I have one. I, I guess know, that's not. probably the biggest you don't thing like, you and I have been <laughs> arguing about lately is that you you say I'm triggered by the word crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you keep saying. You'll say you're so crazy and then I'll be like what the heck? And then you'll be no, saying, you would say, triggered. No, <laughs> triggered. That would trigger me if someone no. looked at me and said, triggered. <laughs> no. You're being triggered right no. now. No. Listen. She just like she's just like uh what did it, what did it, how did you just say I would say you're being crazy and you're like I'm not crazy that's not how she reacts she's like <laughs> I'm not crazy <laughs> I've always said if you have to if you have to proclaim you're not crazy <laughs> It's you, you probably need to see a therapist or something. Oh my gosh. There's an ounce of craziness. It comes back to what we talked about in the first episode. It's that pregnancy brain that's happening yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I'm really convincing myself of these truths that aren't mm-hmm. <laughs> truths. And like I told everybody I was twenty eight weeks pregnant and I found out I'm twenty five weeks pregnant, which is now I have to go back in time mentally, you know. You're crazy. And you're like you're a little bit out of there. That's what you said. You were like, you did not validate me or support me whatsoever. You're like, you're losing it. Oh man. You should be, you're not, you're not following along with her, helping her like, Hey, happy, you know, congrats on the 26 weeks, 27 weeks. You're not counted down. Like, I am. Months? No. He, okay. Where, will, where is yes. she at right now? Where is he, she at right you now? You are. You are. I have the app. Months and days. Go what right to expect? now. Months and days. Go. Months and days. What? How many months and how many days is she pregnant? I don't, I don't know how to do that, man. <laughs> He knows them. He knows them. It's, it's, twi- it's 26, 26 weeks on Monday. Okay. It's not math. It's counting. That's math. <laughs> <laughs> that's the basis. That's why we don't, one thing. That's what we were talking about earlier. Back to the finger. But we have no. been talking about, like, Josh, like, completely bait and switched me on this whole pregnancy thing. Because, because <laughs> when we were, when we were. Gotcha, t- you're <laughs> pregnant. Wait, wait, wait. With the, ca- with the, are we talking about the counting still? Or are you talking about the pregnancy as a whole? The pregnancy as a whole. Because, oh, my goodness. Because. This is the- because what happened, Josh is like, let's have another baby. You know? <laughs> and <laughs> and, and, and I like, was like, nope, I don't want one no more, but too bad. You're 25 weeks. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm yeah, confused. that's cool. That's cool or whatever. But if I get pregnant, oh. I pick all the movies. I pick all the shows. Oh. Maybe oh, and so it's not happening that way. I own the remote at this point. Why aren't you letting her own the remote? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why are you letting her own the remote? Jerry Samo. Why are you letting her own the remote? Why don't you let her own the remote? <laughs> um, but yeah. You 
you why you set that? up that whole thing poorly. We watched hey, no, the no, no, no. Like you can't do times. that. You just, you just, you just ignored the question I asked, and now you're attacking her for how she formed the question. Okay, <laughs> or the she, accusation. She said I bait and switched her with this pregnancy. Did you say those Not things? Not with the criteria that surround the pregnancy. Did you say those things? Yes. I said, third, I, sa- I, I, th- I said the third. I said I think I said the third trimester. No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> when does that start? Is that like twenty eight weeks? That's the whole it's reason he has yeah, the yeah. app. Yeah. That's the whole. Yeah. <laughs> it's a countdown app. It's not a pregnancy app. It's a countdown. App. <laughs> as soon as twenty eight weeks hit, I have to start watching rom coms. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, He's gonna start so. taking Benadryl eight o'clock. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. Tell me yeah. how Pride and Prejudice ends. Yeah. I actually do like that That's movie. That's a though. phenomenal He does. Movie. He likes that movie. When we first started dating, he quoted that line from Darcy to me. Oh. oh. What is it? Swoon. Say it. Say it. Look me in the eyes and say it the way you said it to her. In accent. You have bewitched me both body and soul, and I <laughs> love, love, love you. Oh, my gosh. Dude. I know. Wow. Wow. Moved. wow. Wow. That's powerful. I see why you, I see why you said yes to him. Right. That's impressive. That was really good. Mr. Darcy. Kelsey's never talked to me like that. <laughs> she never, like, quotes poetry at me. Mm. Why aren't guys being quoted more poetry? That's what I'm saying. Girls girls out there, if you're listening, quote more poetry to guys. Yeah, girls are always like, sweep me off my feet. Yeah, come Sweep on. us off our feet. Yeah, give <laughs> us some poetry. Yeah. Give us some just, you know, wordsmith Love. Yeah, I feel like I was bait and switched in this marriage. <laughs> Whoa! Uh oh. Just kidding. I love our marriage. Well, that was a. That, this is heavy. Are you guys words of affirmation? Is that your love language? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought you were like acts of service and quality time that's, and stuff. That, that's interesting. I love words of affirmation. Josh is an anomaly. Well, you normally because you've you've taken the enneagram twice. You've got different answers both time. He's multiple. You like your spiritual sort of. gifts. I feel like change. You're definitely a gifts guy. Yeah, gifts. you love gifts. Yeah, I'm a gifts and words of affirmation. My, yeah, those are probably my two. What's and I hate words of affirmation. How do you express love? <clears throat> service, service. Yeah, and so you're the the way you receive love, words of affirmation. A lot of people say that's because you didn't receive that in your developmental years. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Just kidding. He affirmed me a lot. I feel like I got a lot of gifts though as a kid. Didn't have a dad though. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Can you do the want one? Uh, which one is it? The blue. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, bottom left. Nope. <laughs> we went all through the motions right there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. You did but, get a lot of gifts as, as a kid. Yeah, yeah. but I, I, th- I think words that affirmation makes sense. The way I just said that. Was like a statement question. <laughs> you got a lot of gifts as a kid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If, I, if yeah. I were captioning that, I'd have no idea what punctuation to put on yet. Oh. Um, what's yours? Wow. <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't know. know. You should no, it's, it's no, 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 guess, guess. Uh, words of affirmation. Yeah. You love. And, and physical touch. Yeah, physical touch. Kelsey's physical time and physical <laughs> physical time. What is it? Qual- oh my goodness! Quality time <laughs> and physical touch. What did I say? Physical, physical time. <laughs> oh, okay, no, that's no. <laughs> Quality time, physical touch. <laughs> I have no idea what I said. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh man! Oh jeez! <laughs> Hey, well, this is this is gone off. Oh, this is the, off the rails. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Holy moly, she's Louise. Okay. <laughs> she loves physical. Touch. I'm gonna pass out right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was drinking water. What's, what, what's your love that. language? Physical touch. <laughs> Physical time. <laughs> we need to make that a t-shirt. She's the <laughs> Golly, I'm crying now. <laughs> oh. <God. clears throat> oh. That was a good pod. All right, good yeah. job, guys. Good. Thank Lily, thanks for coming back. Yeah. I yeah. appreciate you. Thank you. I love you. I choked on my water. <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> are you? Yes. Okay. Take her to the hospital. <sighs> Let's make our apologies now. Duke Energy, Kiki, old people. 
Who else? The, the don't, young, don't the young people, the, the, oh, young, the young me. people that are listening as well. Young people are listening. <laughs> we said koalas. <laughs> koalas. <laughs> the whole koala community. We know uh, you're watching. So we sorry. apologize. We didn't mean to put you out yeah. like that. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell if you're watching on YouTube, so you get notified every single time. Make sure to uh, also review and rate us because that helps us a lot and pushes our stuff in, uh, in front of people that. Uh, don't know about us. So that mm, helps mm. us a lot. Love you. Love you. Oh, wait. We, we're doing this thing now where we take a picture. <laughs> of all of our guests. Of our guests. So let me take a picture of you real quick. I'm stuck. I'm yeah. like deceased, though, from choking on that water. Oh, man. I was choking on my own spit. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Ninjas are butterflies. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creations. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja But did you know, like? That sharks actually have like really, really rough skin. And so that's why fish swim up and just like brush against them to scratch their itches. <laughs> it's like no wonder sharks are so ticked off all the time. They're just being used as scratch posts. Like that would make me mad too if people just came up and like brushed up against me just because it made them feel good. It's like how disrespectful. No Do wonder. fish really get itchy? Yeah. Dude, it's 100%. I look it up. Look it up. No one asks questions about that. Wait, that's a really good question. Yeah. Do fish get itchy? Of course they do. What do you mean, of course they do? How would you Why know? wouldn't they? Have you asked a fish? Everyone gets itchy. You look at bears, they rub it up against trees. That's a bear, not a fish. Okay, they're still an animal. I've never gotten itchy in a tub. You've what? Never got, I didn't even I've never gotten one. itchy in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> not, I, was trying to follow, I was trying to follow your logic. I was like, because that's such a random thing. Like, I never got itchy in a tub. Hey man, I've never gotten itchy in a tub. Um, oh. Are you ready for the answer? Fish will get the occasional itch, and seeing oh. a fish flick against a rock isn't necessarily a cause for alarm. <laughs> <laughs> um, why, why, why would you be alarmed if a fish just like kind of like flicked against a rock? Yeah. Who's like, Call the doctor. Listen, listen, lady, this is not a reason to be alarmed. <laughs> oh.